the previous class we have studied about how to calculate the stiffness matrix for the individual element so that is k1 k2 k3 so this value we have calculated is based on the number of elements okay so now what is global stiffness matrix so global stiffness matrix is nothing but it is the sum of all the stiffness matrix that is k1 plus k2 plus k3 okay if you have three elements okay so if you have more number of element then you have to add so here the global stiffness matrix uh, matrix uh, is nothing but assembling of all the stiffness matrix so now uh, the where k1 so k1 k2 k3 it is based on the, the type of element so type of element it will be like if you have if you are having bar so bar it is nothing but it is ae by l 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 so this is the stiffness matrix for the bar element okay so here i am taking the general method how to make the uh, step, uh, means global stiffness matrix means how to add the all the matrix so the method it will be same okay either it may be a bar problem beam problem or truss problem just the general method how to assemble that i am going to tell you okay so here if it is an bar element so bar element is nothing but there is a one bar and second bar so the nodes will be one two three so one two three and deformation will be u1 u2 u3 so three deformation will be there uh, at each node okay so here uh, if the connectivity means there are two elements one and two so you will have k1 plus k2 only okay two elements will be there if you, the problem is having only two links okay so now uh, that i am going to explain you how to make the assembling so here the displacement it will be u1 u2 u1 u2 these are the uh, displacement at node 1 and node 2 so node 1 node 2 plus ae by l 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 okay and the displacement for the element 2 it is connected from u2 u3 u2 u3 okay as i said 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 so like that this is element 1 this is element 2 so 2 to 3 is the second element okay so now how to act just so first you make the calculation of the uh, outside value so always remember when you will take the any value suppose you will get 1.25 10 power of 6 okay and here if you get 1.8 into 10 power of 5 so always you remember make the outside value whatever the outside the 10 power of uh, value you will get so that make you into same value suppose either it should be 10 power of 5 or it should be any mean both should be same so i will convert this one as a 10 power of 5 okay so outside value that should be same and whatever the remaining value suppose 1.25 you got no so that value you take inside the matrix so that is the easy method so when you will make so otherwise no it will get complicated okay so i will just forget about this value i will take as both the values are we got as same and now i will tell you how to add this one okay so i will write inside the matrix okay so u1 u2 u3 u3 u1 u2 u3 only three deformation similarly in the row also u1 u2 u3 okay so now i will concentrate on how to make the global stiffness matrix instead of taking the outside value so that is a general method when whatever the value will get that value will take inside so better i will write the numbering here okay so here 2 uh, 3 and here 4 and 5 so this may be 6 i will take again take a 7 value okay so some value has changed here now you will understand easily okay so now so u1 first row now i am going to make the global stiffness matrix u1 u1 so first row first column first row first column what will be the term we will obtain here so u1 u1 that value is 2 yes similarly you have to look in the another stiffness also is there any u1 here there is no u1 so there is no link between u1 u1 so that value will be 2 similarly you have to look at the u1 u2 so u1 u2 that value is minus 1 that's it u1 u3 u1 u3 there is no link between u1 and u3 so that is 0 now u2 u1 u2 u1 minus 4 u2 u2 so u2 u2 first row first column that is 3 another look at the another elements 
u2 u2 you have the another 4 okay so 3 plus 4 4 you will get 7 u2 u3 so u2 u2 u3 having minus 7 u3 u1 no link between u3 u1 u3 u1 there is no link in 1 and 2 also now u3 u2 u3 uh, sorry uh, u3 u2 yes here it is 3 u3 u2 minus 6 u3 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 that is fine so like that you have to make the global stiffness matrix okay so this is the general method uh, to calculate the global stiffness matrix for uh, any element so this is for only bar if you are having beam so there will be uh, two deformation means there will be at each node there will be two deformation one we said it is an vertical deformation and horizontal uv means u1 v1 u2 v2 like that it will be okay in bar we will have only horizontal displacement no that is u1 only okay like that u1 u2 u3 each node you will have the one deformation in case of truss you will have the two deformation in case of beam you will have again two deformation in uh, beam you will have one rotation that is theta another is the vertical deformation that is v so v1 theta 1 v2 theta 2 like that you will have the deformation okay so thank you for watching so in the next video i am going to explain you how to apply the boundary conditions